In the Bible, we find one of the most beautiful appeal from God. It says, Today, if you hear His voice, harden not your heart. Would you like to spend this day with God? Listen to this devotional. This Day with God, a devotional by Ellen G. White. Unity. I therefore beseech you that ye walk worthy of the vocation wherewith ye are called, with all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love, endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit and the bond of peace. Ephesians 4, verses 1 through 3. Read the prayer that Christ offered for his people just before his trial and crucifixion. Christ in his human nature suffered disappointment and trials. When I read in the Bible of how many refuse to believe that Christ was the Son of God, sadness fills my heart. We read that even his own brethren refused to believe in him. We must present an unbroken front in union and in faith. We must be strong in the Lord and in the power of his grace. It is through disunion that the enemy comes in and sows his seed. We need the truth on every point. We need less of our own words and more of the Word of God. We are near the close of time and we cannot afford to make a mistake. Truth will bear away the victory. We must love as brethren, be pitiful, be courteous. 1 Peter 3 verse 8 We must practice Christian politeness. A soft answer to cruel thrust turns away wrath. Christ is wounded by the differences that are so easily created and brought to the front. Turn to the 17th chapter of John and read the prayer of Christ, his entreaty that his disciples may be one as he is one with the Father. We greatly dishonor God when we regard it as a light manner to make our differences apparent. This is sure to weaken our own souls and the souls of others. When we bring in our own ideas and opinions, we mislead others. Attach importance to a plain, thus saith the Lord, and then you will be labors together with Christ. Be ye therefore followers of God, as dear children, and walk in love, as Christ also hath loved us, and hath given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet-smelling savor. Ephesians 5 verses 1 and 2. What grand and comprehensive truths are shining from the word of God, molding hearts and minds after Christ's order. In the night season, I heard these words spoken to the companies by the divine teacher. Blend your plans, let there be no variance among you. I would say to you, my brother, look up. Talk faith and hope. Do not look at the dark side. Let praise and songs of hope be in your heart and on your lips.